The countdown clock has been stopped at T-minus 31 minutes and 36 seconds. NASA has confirmed that they're calling off today's countdown dress rehearsal due to the issue we've mentioned before associated with a vent valve. So the countdown has stopped. The next plan of action for the launch team will be offloading the liquid oxygen that they were pumping into the core stage. And then the launch team will be uh, regrouping and assessing when they can turn the vehicle around and make another attempt for a cryogenic tanking test. But that will not be happening today. The uh, launch director, Charlie Blackwell-Thompson, has called a scrub for this countdown dress rehearsal and this particular day. A lot of great learning and progress, says the NASA Exploration Ground Systems team. A few minutes ago, NASA declared a scrub for today's Artemis One countdown dress rehearsal. This followed a uh, series of technical issues that the launch team worked throughout the day. Beginning this morning, the first uh, technical issue that was being discussed involved an outage of gaseous nitrogen. This nitrogen is used to purge parts of the rocket out of the launch pad to ensure there's no risk of uh, fire or flammability during cryogenic tanking. The GN2 supply was restored ultimately, allowing the countdown to resume after an extended hold. At that point, NASA began chilling down the liquid oxygen system for the Space Launch System core stage. However, during that chill down process, engineers noted a discrepancy in the, in the temperature of the liquid oxygen that was being uh, flowed through the transfer lines and through the plumbing in the Space Launch System core stage. The temperature uh, hit a limit uh, and NASA engineers decided to hold off on the rest of the cryogenic tanking process to assess that issue. After adjusting some of their procedures, the launch team, after several hours, finally resumed the liquid oxygen chill down process and got into loading of the cryogenic oxidizer into the core stage. That was a major milestone achieved this afternoon during the Artemis I uh, countdown dress rehearsal. The next step would have been loading of liquid hydrogen into the core stage. However, that did not proceed today after the launch team noted a, an issue with a vent valve. A vent valve uh, failed to open when it needed to and the launch team over in firing room one decided to hold off on loading of liquid hydrogen into the core stage while they assessed that problem. That led the engineers and technicians to decide to ultimately call off the wet dress rehearsal today. This was the second day in a row that this countdown dress rehearsal has been scrubbed. Yesterday, the countdown was held before the loading of any cryogenics into the rocket. The launch team got a little farther today into that countdown procedure, but ultimately did not uh, finish off the test the way they intended or the way they wanted to. The goal in this wet dress rehearsal is to get the countdown down to T minus nine seconds or so, just prior to ignition of the Space Launch System's core stage engines. At that point, the countdown would be cut off and that would complete the wet dress rehearsal test and the propellants would be drained from the vehicle. So still a ways to go to get to that point in a future uh, countdown attempt. It's unclear when that will happen. NASA says they're assessing their next opportunity to uh, turn the vehicle around and uh, prepare the launch team for another go at the practice countdown test. At this time, liquid oxygen is being offloaded from the core stage. The launch team uh, reports that about half of that load of liquid oxygen was uh, pumped into the core stage during today's countdown test. So that oxidizer will be offloaded and uh, a portion of it will, will be returned to the ground storage tank at pad 39B. And then engineers will assess what needs to be done regarding this vent valve that became the problem today and caused the scrub in this countdown test. And then decide when to make another attempt to 
load cryogenics into the rocket and proceed down to that T minus nine second point. So we hope you'll join us next time for the cryogenic tanking, tanking test take three. It's unclear when that'll be, but we'll report uh, the schedule when we receive it from NASA on spaceflightnow.com as well as our, on our social media channels. So we thank you for joining us today. If you want to support our coverage, you can go to spaceflightnow.com and click the Members tab on top of our homepage. Any contribution you can offer to become a member helps us support our launch coverage here at the Kennedy Space Center and at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. So until next time, I'm Stephen Clark reporting live from Kennedy Space Center. Have a good evening.